Hello students, welcome to Geographica. I am Amrita Vishwas. Today we are going to learn natural resource water, fresh water resources through the conversation between two friends, Samir and Kaushik. This video is the second video of the series Natural Resource Water. Those who have missed the first video, I will request them to watch first video of this series by clicking the link on the screen. So as always, a lot to learn about geography. Please subscribe the channel to get latest updates. Hey Kaushik. Hello Samir. How are you? It's been long time we have met. I am doing well. Thanks. Yeah, it's been long time. How are your studies going on? It's going pretty well. But I am facing little difficulties. In understanding problems of water availability. Okay, then let's discuss today. Let's go to a park and discuss. Okay, let's go. This park is like a jungle. Yeah, this my favorite place. Because of its greenery. And purest nature. I will sit on the stone. Okay. Now, before starting our today's discussion we will recap the previous discussion. Right? Okay then ask me anything you want. Anything? No, just only the questions related to water availability. Okay tell me how much of the earth is covered with water? Three fourths of the earth covered with water. Fresh water is only about 2.7%. And only 1% of fresh water is available and fit for human use. Ocean water is saline. And? And what? Kaushik, I am thinking, we can make lemon mint water with the ocean water. Very soon you will get Nobel Prize for your Nobel thought. And regarding water cycle, I think you would say water cycle is riding bicycle on water, right? You are pulling my legs, aren't you? Sorry. Okay, what is water cycle? It is a motion or cycling of water through the oceans, the air, the land and back again through the processes of evaporation, precipitation and runoff. Excellent. Okay, Samir, tell me. What are the uses of water? I mean, in which purposes water are being used? Water is used for drinking, washing, agriculture, industries, generating electricity etc. Generating electricity? How? Hydroelectric power is generated through reservoirs and dams. Will you please explain in systematic way, how hydroelectric power is generated? Okay, hydroelectric power is generated using flowing water to spin a turbine which turns a shaft that's connected to an electric generator thanks for your explanation it's my pleasure Samir do you know an average urban Indian uses about 150 liters of water every day yeah 3 liters for drinking 4 liters for cooking 20 liters for bathing 40 liters for flushing 40 liters for washing clothes 20 liters for washing utensils and 23 liters used for gardening purpose. You know Samir, there have some challenges to water availability. What are the challenges? Challenges to maintain adequate supply of fresh water. As population are increasing, demand for food and cash crops are also increasing. You know, agriculture withdraws a lot of fresh water. You can't drink or use ocean water for agriculture. So. Rising demand for food bestows a huge pressure on water. Besides, urbanization, or the process of population shift from rural areas to urban areas is another biggest challenge for a supply of water. The huge concentration of population in a particular area and rising standards of living are the biggest challenges for adequate fresh water. That means you want to say that increasing population, rising demand for food and cash crops, Increasing urbanization and increasing the standards of living are the major factors leading to shortages and supply of fresh water. Right? Yes, these are the major factors leading to shortages of fresh water, either due to drying up of water sources or water pollution. Okay Samir, next time we will discuss about qualitative and quantitative aspects of water scarcity and water scarce regions of the world. I think for understanding the water scarcity in different regions of the world we should visualize the map of the world. You are absolutely right. 
I would suggest you to hang a world map and India's map on the wall of your study room. Kaushik, I don't have maps. I am going to purchase both the maps right away. Okay then, see you soon. And just be careful on the road and don't forget to buy maps. Yeah, thanks, I won't forget. Bye. Bye. The students, from today's discussion, we learned about different uses of water. Even we became acquainted about how much amount of water is being used by an average urban Indian and understand the challenges to water availability. Now, as a homework, I will suggest you to make a list of a countries according to continent by reading the map of the world. Thank you. God bless you. Stay at home. Stay safe.